Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi and I talk all things beauty, style, DIY, and occasionally, occasionally, oh my gosh, my makeup's not blended very well right there. Occasionally, <laughs> I vlog. So I'm super excited because today I'm going to be reviewing for you some samples from a company called Ritual de Fille. Um, they are a witchy makeup brand and I have been after their products forever and I cannot afford them. They are super expensive. But I could afford a sample pack and so I'm going to do a full face with the samples. And let me show you the box. What I love about them is that their box comes nondescript like this. It's just a brown box and it has the label, the shipping label on the top which I took off because I don't want y'all to know my address. And then when you open the box, it comes like this, in tissue paper, and the products are packaged like that. Now, I have had a Ritual Defeat product before. I had their Black Orb eyeliners, which are these. And it is one of the best cream eyeliners, hands down, I have ever used. The other thing about Ritual Defeat is that their products are uh, clean. They're a clean product brand. So I have the black orb. I've got the black. Um, this one is called Iron. Well, Iron is the red one. It's deep red. And then I got the black, which is called Abyss, that's this. Package is the same, it looks like a pyramid, isn't that cool? And look at the Ritual de Fee logo. And Ritual de Fee, that name is so French. It is French and it means Ritual of Sisters. And the fan brand is actually founded by three sisters, which is pretty cool. And then the samples come like this. So these, these were set and they were on sale and I got the full size and then I got the samples of the other stuff. So, let's try this. Let's start with the eyeliner. Oh, the other thing I should say is all these products are cruelty free. So it says on this package that it's formulated without synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrance, carbon black, it's plastic plastic-based glitters if they formulate without plastic-based glitters, parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, paraffin, petroleum, or pe pegs, polyethylene glycol. So that's, that's all good because you don't want any of that stuff in your, um, in your makeup. So let me open these up and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how these are packaged. Look at these samples. I mean, these are not tiny and they've got quite a bit of sample in them. So I have a few things. I have two eye soots and I have the shade Cultist, which is this one. It's supposed to be a silver shade. That's really pretty. And then I have this shade Serpent de Mer, Serpent de Mer, which means sea serpent in French. Ooh, that's really pretty too. And then I have um, two of the cream cheek. I have Lust. These are for lips and cheeks. And Lovesick is right here. These look much darker than they do in the pot and they do swatch. I haven't swatched any of these but on the skin they look. And then I have one of the jellies but this one is hummingbird. This one. And now let me show you how beautiful the full size packaging is. These are the orbs, the eyeliner orbs. 
and I'm not sure which color I'm going to use yet. Um, I think it'll be dictated by my, I think I'm going to use cultist. And for this, I'm just going to use my finger and I've got nothing on my eyelids because the directions for these eye slits say to wear nothing. So it says you dip in with your finger to pick up the product like this. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Let's see what this looks like. I'm excited. Oh, that is a one and done color. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's easy. All right, let me see what this looks like behind my glasses. That is so pretty. Oh my lord. Let's do the other eye and then let's use the eye set. I'm gonna use the, the orbs. I'm gonna use the black one at this. This is like a combination between a cream and a uh, powder, and it really, really is. It's so beautiful, and it feels like nothing on your eyes. It feels really good. It's so pretty. All right, let me put on my glasses. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful shade? All right, so I'm gonna use the Abyss Orb. This is what it looks like. Let me let me open the iron one because I love red eyeliners and they're so hard to find. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone look at that. It's like a red brown the burgundy. It's not pretty. All right, but I'm gonna wear the black one today. And I think because this is such a dramatic color, gray, that I'm just going to do a little wing, little mini wing. And I'm going to use this flat liner brush. Just want to do a mini wing. One thing that I like to do with eyeliners like this is I like to take the cap after I've loaded up my brush, take it and just move it around in the cap, swirl it, it evens it out and makes it easier to apply. So that's my wing. That is all I'm gonna do for a wing. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful. Mm. For cheeks and lips, let's do Love Sick. Actually, since it's still winter, not spring yet, let's do Lust. Ooh, it's very weirdly creamy. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what it looks like on the lips and the cheeks. That's what it looks like on my finger, but it's 
very dry. It's very brick rose. This definitely is not a color that I would buy a full size of. It's very different. I think I'm gonna warm this up quite a bit before I put it on my cheeks. And I'll have a, I've already put on my base product, so I'll have, I'll tell you what I'm using. I'm actually using for, instead of foundation, this Australian Gold Botanicals SPF 50, and I'm doing a wear test. So I should have that up for this video. So let's do this, cheeks. You really have to work it in. It's very dry, but I like it. I like that it's not oily. Oh, you know, this color is growing on me. It's not something that I would have picked, but it is something I would wear for the fall. It's very earthy. You really have to warm it up though. It's not, it's not an easy to blend product, but I love it, oh my gosh. And a little bit of this goes a long way. This is very pigmented. Okay, I think that's even. Got a little left on my hands, let's put a little more on this side. This is so pretty. I'd say for lips, to moisturize your lips before you put this on, because it's not moisturizing, it's very, very dry. And my lips are very dry right now. And it is buildable. The herbal smell doesn't stay. So don't, if you're sensitive to smells, don't worry about it. It's, it's gone the minute you apply it. It's not strong. But, Gosh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup powder and everything and I will be right back. My final thoughts on these because ugh, love. Okay, so all this makeup is absolutely beautiful and this is my final look and I love all of it. I really love this eye soot. In cultist, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's multi-dimensional and a totally a one and done. And I love the texture of it. It's it's so pretty and so easy to put on with no scale. You just smudge it on and it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me swatch for you the shade Serpent de Mer so you can see what that looks like. Because this gray color. Ooh, beautiful, blend it out. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I, I, I can't wait to wear this on my eyes. Okay, and I also want to swatch for you this, this one in Hummingbird. Now, the difference between this one, which is their original, is the, the, uh, the cheek and lip cream, um, it's very dry. So this one, Hummingbird, is from their different collection. It's supposed to be like moisturizing, jelly-like. So let's see. Yeah, this one's very bouncy. And this color, oh, look at that color. Oh, that's so pretty. I think this is the one I'm gonna purchase when I have the money. Mm. All right, these are so worth worth it. I mean, I could throw away everything I have right now and just use these I, for a natural product. This this color lust beautiful. 
so pretty. And unique, unique packaging. I love the black, I love the silver, I love the gold, I love the stars on it. I love the witchy feel of it. It's, it's just beautiful. And for a small brand, they have beautiful products. And I hope you liked this review of Ritual de Fee samples. I also love the way their samples are sealed in this container. This is a beautiful small brand. So I hope you like this review of their products, the sample products, and it will help you decide whether or not you want to purchase full sizes or try samples of your own from Ritual de Fee. My name is Mimi, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.